the topic which we are going to start today is measurement. Okay, so let's start. Okay, the topic is measurement. Okay, the topic is measurement. Okay, whatever around us can be measured, clear? Whether it be a length, weight, or whatever, clear? But different different units are there, different types for different types of things. So we are going to see. Okay, let us start. So if I distribute in this three part, first what we can say is length. Then comes weight. After weight is volume. Yeah. Now see, if we divide length to length, we all know we can say length is measured in kilometer. Standard unit to measure length is kilometer. Then meter is also there. Then centimeter. Millimeter is also there. Yeah. Now if we talk about weight, so gram is there. Standard unit can be gram. Then kg is there. Kilogram. Then milligram is there. Then comes the volume. So volume can be like volume. Mein First of all, what we are having that liter and milliliter is also there. Yeah, basic same. So you must be knowing. Ab now, isko hum dekhte hain change kaise karte hain. If I talk about one kilometer, to one kilometer mein how many meters are there? It is thousand meter. Clear? One kilometer mein how many meters are there? Thousand meter. Okay. Similarly, one meter is equal to how many centimeter are there? Hundred centimeter are there. Okay, if we talk about centimeter into millimeter, so one centimeter is equals to ten millimeter. Okay, no doubt in this. Now, if I say we have to change one kilometer into millimeter, now see how we change this. One kilometer, so we know how to change in meter. Yes, very easily we know. It is equals to thousand meter. Clear? Now meter into centimeter, we know we have to multiply by. Hundred. So just multiply this by hundred. Now we will write centimeter over here because we have changed meter into centimeter. Now we are going to change centimeter into millimeter. Now we know this also that one centimeter is equals to ten millimeter. That means we will multiply over here by ten. Now let's multiply. Now see. We know when we have to multiply the digits which are ending with the zeros. We can just simply count the number of zeros and we can multiply the rest of the number. If I say one, two, three, four, five, six zeros are there, that means we will write zero, six zeros over here. How many ones are there? So one ones are one, one ones are one. That means no problem, only one will be there. So what is the answer coming? One. Okay. So we have multiplied. Now let us see how many millimeters are there in kilometer. One in hundred. Thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh. That means in one kilometer, how many millimeters are there? Ten lakh millimeters are there. If you want, you can also put a comma over here so that it will be easy for you to know. So that was for length. Now let us come to weight. In this simple thing is one kilometer kilogram. We have to change in gram. That means one kg is equal to how many grams? It is thousand grams. Okay. So one kg is equal to how many grams are there? Thousand grams. Now we will change this gram into milligram. One gram is equal to how many milligrams are there? Thousand milligrams are there. Now if I say in one kg how many milligrams are there? So what we will do? We know one kg is equal to thousand grams. So first we will write thousand. Now we know in one gram thousand milligrams are there. So we will multiply over here by thousand. Now our answer is coming. One kg is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. Milligram. That means same. One kg is equal to ten lakh milligrams are there. Okay. No doubt in this. Okay. Now let's move to volume. If we talk about volume, so in volume one liter is equal to how many milliliters are there? In one liter, thousand milliliters are there. Clear? Got it. Now one more thing is there in weight. If we talk about so one quintal. First of all, one ton is there. One ton is equal to how many uh, kgs? So one ton is equal to thousand kgs, and one quintal is also there, and one quintal is equal to hundred kg. Now if we have to change quintal into gram, so first we will change into 
kg and then we will multiply by 1000 and it will be changed into gram and if we have to change in milligram so again we will multiply by 1000 and our answer will be in milligram that too will when we will do questions now and that we will practice that now right now so this is the chart which you must be knowing in your classes this chart is compulsory if you know this chart now that means you can solve your questions very easily if you know this chart okay now let us i hope you have noted this if you have not so please note it down then let us move to next part how to solve the questions in this okay so now we will see how we are going to change this these questions for example in this we have to change 30 meter 40 centimeter into centimeter and in this we have to change 46 kilometer 128 meter into meter now let's see how we are going to solve this first of all now see in this question we have to change 30 meter 40 centimeter into centimeter now this is already in centimeter we don't have to change this but this is a meter we have to change only this one okay 30 meter now we all know one meter is equals to how many centimeters are there yes 100 centimeter are there that means 30 meter is equals to 30 into 100 that will be 33,000 centimeter now this has come that means we have changed 30 meter into centimeter now we have to add 40 centimeter into this so that our answer total answer will be in centimeter now see how we are going to do so 3000 plus 40 that means 3040 centimeter is the answer clear got it okay now let us come to the next part this 46 kilometer 128 meter into meter we have to change now we know 1 kilometer is equals to how many meters are there 1000 meter yes we will change this 46 kilometer into meter so 46 kilometer is equals to 46 multiplied by 1000 and that is equals to 46,000 meter now our answer has come in 46,000 meter now we will just simply add this 120 meter 28 meter also in this and our answer will be final answer that means 46,000 plus 128 always start adding from the back that means you will write from the ones place and your answer will be 46,128 meter clear? got it? ok note the some questions Okay, now we will see some more units are also there, decagram, decigram, so that we are going to learn how we have to change that, that. okay, now I hope you have noted this, now let me drop this, then we will come to that. Okay, before we move to how to change into decagram, centigram and hectogram, let us do some more questions, addition questions, okay. In this we have to add 43 km, 138 meter and 156 km and 28 meter. So what you can do is just make two columns over here like this kilometer and meter. What is the value of kilometer in this? 43 meter, 138 meter plus the sign then. What is the meter in this? 28. We will always write from the back. I have told you now 8, 2, 156 km means 6, 5 and this. Here got it no doubt in this. Okay, now let's add 8 plus 8, 16. One carry will be there. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. No carry. 1. 3 plus 6, 9. 4 plus 5, 9. 1. That means 199 kilometer. 166 meter is the answer. Okay, got it. Okay, second question is saying subtract this from this. That means we have to subtract this number from means your number pehle aayega. Isme se we will subtract this. Okay, now let's see how we are going to do that. Meter, centimeter, same 140 meter, 10 centimeter was here, then 53 meter and 14 centimeter. Now see, 0 minus 4 is not possible, so it will take carry from this and it will become 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. Now it has given carry to this, now it will become 0. So 0 minus 1 is not possible, so it will take carry from this. But this is also 0, so it will take carry from this and it will become 10. Now this 10 will give carry to this. This was 0, so now it has become 10, and but this has become 9. Now 10 minus 1 will be 9. And over here 9 was there, 9 minus 3, 6. Now it has become 3, 3 minus 5 not possible. It will take carry, 13 minus 5 is, yes, what is the answer? 8, very good. That means 86 meter and 96 centimeter is the answer. Clear? Got it? Noted down. Okay. 
okay now let us move to now we will do how to change meter kilometer and all into hectometer decameter okay let's start that okay so now we are going to start how to change gram meter or whatever into hectogram hectometer and all now let's see so the standard unit to measure weight we all know is gram clear if i say one gram clear short form is g if we if we multiply this gram now by 10 that means this was one gram if i change multiply this by 10 so it will become 10 gram and 10 gram is equals to what one decagram short form is d a g decagram clear that the one decagram is equals to 10 gram now if we move one step down that means it was one gram now we have to find out the value of if we divide it by 10 it was one gram if we divide this by 10 so it will become one dc gram its salt form is dg here one dc gram okay if we multiply this one gram by 100 so it will change into one hectogram what the sort form hg that means it is equals to 100 gram but if we divide this gram by 100 it will change into one centigram cg it is one upon 100 gram now if we multiply this one gram by thousand it will become one kilogram kg we all know it is equals to thousand gram but if we divide this one gram by thousand, it will change into one milligram. It is one upon thousand. Now see, this we all know when we are moving from bigger unit to smaller unit. We have to multiply. That means if we want to change one kilogram into one hectogram, we have to multiply by but if we are moving one hectogram into decagram, so we have to multiply by again 10. Same one gram, decagram one, decagram is equal to this 10. Okay, if I change this one gram into one decigram, so then also we have to multiply by 10. One decigram into one centigram, we will multiply by 10. And one centigram into milligram, we will multiply by 10. Clear? Got it. Now, if I say the question is there, in one kilogram, how many decagram are there? Clear? If I say the question is, in 1 kg, how many decagram are there? Clear? Decagram we have to find out. Now see, over here we have to multiply, don't just add them. Clear? We have to multiply. That means, in 1 kg, how many steps we are moving? 1, 2. That means, 10 multiplied by 10. 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. Yes. That means, in 1 kg, how many decagram are there? 100 decagram are there. What is the short form? DAG. Yes. Clear? What it? Now if I say in one hectogram, how many milligrams are there? Now see how many steps we have to move. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That means 10 and the 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh. At least in one hectogram, how many milligrams are there? 1 lakh. 1 lakh milligrams are there. Okay. So like this you can change anything. Hectogram into decagram decagram into gram, centigram, milligram, whatever you want to change. Just move that step and multiply by the number. Now, if we have to reverse it, this we all know that if we have to move from a smaller unit to bigger unit, we have to divide. Now, let's see. If you want to change this milligram into centigram, so what we will do, we will divide it by 10. Okay. Now, see, over there was 1000, now it is 100. So, don't get confused that we have multiplied by 10. We are now changing, this is for gram this is the relation between centigram and gram and now this is relation between milligram and centigram clear got it that means if we have to change centigram into decagram so we will again divide it by 10 if we have to move decigram into gram so again we will divide it by 10 same if one gram we have to change into decagram we will divide it by 10 same again if we have to move one decagram into hectogram we will divide it by 10 again we will, we will divide it by now let's suppose a question is there 
in five thousand milligram. How many decigram are there? Yeah, we have to find out in five thousand milligram how many decigram are there. How many steps we are moving? One, two, one, two. That means we have to divide by ten times of hundred. How many times we have to divide? Yes, by hundred. Let's divide. These zero will cost. The answer is fifty. That means what we have find out in five thousand milligram how many decigram are there? Fifty decigram are there. Yeah. Got it. Now if you want to check your answer is correct or not, you can reverse it also. Let's suppose we are changing one fifty decigram. Into milligram, decigram into milligram. That means we have to multiply. How many times? One, two, by hundred. Multiplied by hundred. Again, the same answer is coming. Five thousand milligram. Clear? Got it? That means like this, you can change milligram into centigram, decigram, gram, and that. How well they are not? Because it is very hard. So now you can easily learn it. Clear? इसको भी नाउ नो के हाउ कैसे ऊपर नीचे जाना है इसमें क्लियर एंड व्हाट वी हैव टू डू व्हेन वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम डेकाग्राम टू सेंटीग्राम और वी आर वी आर मूविंग फ्रॉम मिलीग्राम टू डेसीग्राम क्लियर वंस अगेन आई एम रिवाइजिंग यू 1 ग्राम इज इक्वल्स टू हाउ मेनी डेकाग्राम 10 क्लियर देन ऑफ इफ वी डिवाइडेड बाय इट विल बी चेंज टू डेसीग्राम डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज्ड बिटवीन डेकाग्राम एंड डेसीग्राम स्पेलिंग्स आर क्वाइट सिमिलर बट दे आर नॉट एग्जैक्टली सिमिलर ओवर ओवरहेड इज डेसीग्राम ओवरहेड इज जस्ट डेकाग्राम क्लियर दैट मींस कैसे याद रखना है कि अगर हम ग्राम से ऊपर जा रहे हैं तो डेकाग्राम नीचे आएंगे तो डेसीग्राम ऊपर जा रहे हैं दैट मीन वी आर मल्टीप्लाइन बाय टेन ऊपर जा रहे हैं मीन्स इन वन डेकाग्राम हाउ मेनी ग्राम्स आर देयर टेन बट इन वन डेसीग्राम हाउ मेनी ग्राम्स आर देयर तो इट विल बी वन अपॉइंट टेन क्लियर सिमिलरली इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाय हंड्रेड तो इट विल चेंज टू डेक्टोग्राम इफ वी डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड तो इट विल चेंज टू सेंटीग्राम इफ वी चेंज डिवाइड मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाय थाउजेंड तो इट विल चेंज टू वन किलोग्राम इफ वी डिवाइड दिस बाय थाउजेंड तो इट विल चेंज टू मिलीग्राम दैट मीन्स इन वन मिलीग्राम हाउ मेनी ग्राम्स आर देयर One upon thousand. Clear? I hope you can solve this. Now note this down. Okay, so that's it for today's lecture. I hope you understood the chapter, whatever we have studied today. If you have any doubt, then you can ask in the comment section. And if you want me to make such more videos on this topic, so you can write there also in the comment section. And I will make some more videos, question practice videos of measurement also. And by the time, if you like the video, so please do hit the like button and. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever next video will be uploaded you will be not notified soon. Okay and thanks for watching.